Hello, welcome back to Joy Filipina channel. Uh, last year we did a, a do-it-yourself hydroponic system uh, where we grew uh, some red peppers that we germinated um, using the paper towel method in our window. And this year we we're gonna try to do something new and grow some uh, baby bok choy. Um, but this time we're gonna start with, uh, with rock wool. So we got, um, I think it's about uh, 98 cubes of rock wool. It's a one and a half inch squares. Um, it's about 17 bucks. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, so we're gonna use that to germinate um, our, uh, our bok choy seeds. Uh, we got uh, 1100 seeds um, online. I think it was about 10 bucks for these. And then we're going to um, put these into um, this tin with uh, uh, plastic for the humidity dome. And this is just a you know, food container, I think, from Costco. You can see that these already have the holes um, in them. The seedlings have been growing for about a month now and uh, we're ready to transfer them to the hydroponic system. And this year I'm going to make a little change. Last year we grew some peppers and that turned out okay. Um, but we're going to do bok choy and we're going to try to add a few more baskets in here. A few more net cups. Alright, so we got 15 holes now. And so now I'm going to set this back up uh, like I had last year over here. So this year we're growing um, bok choy and then hydroponic and I grow also um, the green pepper in the pot and this little see. Yeah, so we just reassembled this and then we have some extra holes here. So we're going to have uh, five in each row and these have been growing for a little while and we're finally getting back to it. I don't know if it's going to work because I think they were maybe not planted deep enough. But we're going to try it out and see what happens anyways. So I got this all plumbed up, ready to hook up. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the air pump for the aerator. There's a water pump in there. And there's the hose. Goes up here. Feeds in here. And then it cascades down to each row and back in to the reservoir and i can feel water up here already that's good take it a while to trickle down and i see it down here now so this holds just about 10 gallons i might have to add a little bit more once it fills these tubes because this is not really a nft system um, it actually requires the water level to be up here in order for it to touch the bottom of the net cups which is why I waited until these were a little bit older and they have roots so that when I put them in there that the roots will actually reach down into the water with the nutrient solution so there's the first one all right they're all in and so now I'm getting ready to add the nutrients and we're doing the mixture of these three this year and with about 15 gallons of water I'm going to do about a half a cup 
of each of these mixed in one at a time. So the bok choy is looking really good. It's been out here about four weeks in our hydroponic system. I think maybe next week we'll harvest some of the leaves and see the root system. Looking really good. Yeah, I moved this over here this year. Let's uh, get some morning sun. Uh, previously we had it over here on this wall, which gets a lot of heat reflected from the house next to it. So that wasn't working. Uh, water level is really low. We haven't been missing a few gallons. We're gonna have to add some water. I think I'm gonna need leave the nutrients where they are. They're doing great. We're ready to harvest the bachoy. So they're making bulalu for tonight and Justin washing the mushroom yeah. and the bok choy. So now I'm pouring the bok choy. One throw of bok choy. Mm -mm. Smell good. There we go. And then we're gonna mix it. Mmm! Dino bok choy! Mm. 